Hello again, thanks for watching another Quick Tips video for SolidWorks 2013. My name is Joseph Catrona, I'm an Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. Now, for a few releases, we've had the ability to use on-screen numeric input. And this is reminiscent of uh, my AutoCAD checkered past. For those of us who have used AutoCAD back in the day, you'll recall the ability to use this on-screen numeric input to give a line just kind of a direction and then give it a numeric input enter or input spacebar. Now what we can also do in SolidWorks is go ahead and automatically add those dimensions while we're using the on-screen numeric input. So if you're in a sketch command you can use this checkbox here you can also find that toggle button this was added last year here on the right click pop-up bar so there's one to add the auto dimensions and then there's another to use uh, the numeric input at all now this works fine if you want to add these auto dimensions it's really going to define the magnitude of these lines um, the radius of your arcs and so forth now the inconvenience for me happens when okay I've given it some numeric input for that line and numeric input for that line but for this one maybe I just want to infer to some other geometry and now I'm going to get these uh, very arbitrary dimensions on the the line work that's inferencing something else so in 2013 we get the best of both worlds so we'll see a new option under the options, system options, sketch. There's a checkbox to create those automatic dimensions only if and when a value is entered. So I'll say OK to that. Actually, make sure, did I turn that on? Let's turn it on and see what the behavior is like now. So just as you'd expect, I can give it that on-screen numeric input, automatically add a dimension when I prefer, and then other times maybe not add the dimension when I'm inferencing other lines. And this keeps you from having to hold down the Alt key if you're using, uh, in 2012 we would have had to hold down the Alt key for any of these lines that you didn't want to have a dimension automatically added. So in 2013, to me it's a little more intuitive, a little more natural, just to add those dimensions when I want them and not add them when I don't. Feel free to leave us a comment here. Do you find this useful? Will you even turn this on? Also, feel free to leave us a comment if there's any other Quick Tips videos you'd like to see for this year or for previous years.